Hi, and welcome to week 43 of the Monologue Project. This week we have, I have to look at my cheat sheet. We have to think, Push Up by Roland Schimmelfenig, translated by Maya Zaid. The character is Sabina. Uh, it's a direct address piece, so it's just, you know, talking directly to the audience. It's, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's well constructed. Um, I think it's probably more interesting in the scope of the whole thing, but just as a standalone piece, I, mm, it's just not my thing. So, uh, but that's fine because it doesn't have to be mine because it might be yours. So anyway, uh, all of that said, this is Push Up by Roland Z Schimmelfenig, translated by Maya Zaid, Sabina. I haven't had sex in two years and I'm 28. I get up at six every morning and I take a cold shower and then I have breakfast, usually fruit, uh, in my dressing gown while I watch TV. I do that every morning except Sunday. In the morning I watch TV from 6.30 until 7. The program's not very good at that time but I sit in front of the TV and I think about nothing. Then I start to get dressed. I never wear the same thing as the day before, never, although my clothes often look similar. I have many clothes, <laughs> heaps. I chose my apartment with this in mind, built-in cupboards. In my current flat, there are two built-in cupboards. I can't decide what to wear. It's a problem. I often change my clothes completely several times over before I can decide what to wear until I've managed to make a decision. It's not easy. It's an ordeal. When I'm dressed, I blow dry my hair and I put on makeup. My hairstyle's okay. There's not much you can do with my hair. Makeup is difficult, especially in the winter when it's still dark outside. Not too much, uh, just high quality products from Japan, for example. When I've done my face, I take the lift down to the basement garage. It's eight o'clock now, halfway down, I stop and turn back. Go back up because I feel awful. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I, I, I unlock the two safety locks to my apartment and I get changed. I don't like what I'm wearing. I usually wear blue. I don't really like blue except for maybe jeans or winter sweaters, but nonetheless, I usually wear blue. I've taken to wearing everything in blue to buy blue clothes when I have time. Everything I buy is blue, so everything's color coordinated. Nonetheless, I, I turn around halfway down and I get changed again. I change everything. My stockings, my knickers, my bra. I feel ugly. I have to hurry. I mean, the clock's ticking and I'm standing in front of the mirror in the hall feeling ugly. After a while, it's gone 8.30. It's time. I need to go. Again, I take the lift to the basement garage. I get in the car. I can't turn back now. To turn back now is completely impossible. I look in the rearview mirror. My makeup is terrible. I don't like my lipstick. In the traffic jam, in the circular, I redo my lips. I, I can't do my eyes until I get to the office. Whatever you do, don't look cheap. I arrive at the office and I feel like no one is looking at me. And that's good. And that's awful. At 9.15, I see my team. None of the women at the long table wear blue, except for when they wear jeans or winter sweaters, maybe, but you don't see a lot of those here in the meetings. Many of them are average, very average, most of them. None of them were blue. I looked into the faces at the table and I asked myself, which of them had sex last night and how often, or this morning while I took a cold shower, while I watched TV and thought about nothing. All of them, I think. All of them except me.